Hi everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions, back to bring you this really fast, fun, easy, happy birthday card. So let's go ahead and get started. So the supplies we're gonna need today are an eight and a half by five and a half piece of, oh wow, let me get the actual names of things here. Sweet Sugar Plum, it's our new in color for 2016 through 2018. It is scored at four and a quarter. You're also going to need approximately 20 inches of the Sweet Sugar Plum Rooked Ribbon. We are also using Flirty Flamingo when you need a piece of cardstock that is 3 inches by 3.5 and, and 3 inches by 3.5 of Whisper White. Regular Whisper White is fine. We're going to be using Sweet Sugar Plum as well as Flirty Flamingo ink. And last but not least, let's get to the two stamp sets slide these things out of the way here. We are going to be using one of my absolute favorites, the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set. We're going to be using this large speckled spot here and the larger or the small but large diameter splat right there. And also the st new stylized birthday stamp from Stampin' Up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm a big fan of scoring my cardstock. I'm also a big fan of using um, a bone folder so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold this in half and we're going to do that so now I'm actually going to pull in my two stamps and we're gonna stamp this first and I'm gonna use the sweet sugar plum and this larger smaller specialty splatty thing here now I love this stamp set because there really is no right or wrong to this just go ahead and randomly stamp it all the way around. There's no need to be, you know, pretty or even accurate. Just kind of go all around. You're also going to keep that ink out and grab your three by three and a half inch piece of Whisper White. Now you want the three and a half inches to be going horizontally and the three to be going vertically. Now the, half, the stylized birthday stamp only comes in wood mount. But I think it's an awesome stamp. It's nice. It's got a good font to it. It's like the perfect size. Go ahead and ink that up nice and heavy. Line, I use the grid paper to basically line everything up on my cardstock. We're going to go straight down, straight up, smack dab in the center there. Beautiful. All right, so now we're done with the Sweet Sugar Plum ink, and we're going to pull in our Flirty Flamingo ink. And we're going to grab our Flirty Flamingo cardstock. So go ahead and tap, tap, tap your smaller splatter. And just randomly stamp it all over your Flirty Flamingo. Then also grab your Happy Birthday again. We're just going to stamp it a couple of times. little splats down there. Let's add one over there. Maybe one over here. All right. I think that looks good to me. So we're done with our stamping. Now let's just put it all together, guys. So we're going to bring back in our card base and your Flirty Flamingo cardstock. Now I'm using Snail. You can also use your Fast Fuse or your Multi-Purpose Glue. Now, I want the three and a half inches to be going vertically this time. And I kind of just, you know, eyeballed it. You know, where I kind of liked it, you can kind of put it wherever you want. I'm actually going to do this backwards this time. So we're going to, or the opposite, I should say, not backwards, opposite. Let's go ahead and slide that over there. Stick that down. Um, you guys don't need to worry about writing down any directions or anything. Um, if you guys would like, description bar below has a link to my site. You can purchase any supplies that I used in this card here today there, as well as you can find the directions. Go ahead and grab your happy birthday. I left quite a bit of that open. I like it right about there. All right. Now I'm going to grab my ribbon, and I didn't want a pretty little bow. I mean, it's a little grungy. Bow didn't fit the grunge look, I don't think. So I went ahead with a, just a regular old knot, and I wanted to center it over 
the flirty flamingo. So you need a little more ribbon there than you do the other side. But go ahead and we're gonna tie ourselves just a knot, a plain simple knot, so no need to worry about bows or any of that kind of stuff. Mm, there we go. All right, and we're gonna grab our scissors and trim off the edges. There's that. There's that. Alrighty, and we're done. So if you guys want to, before you give it to somebody, you can add a piece of Whisper White in here, and I would make that four by five and a quarter. And you have yourselves a cute, fast, fun, flirty birthday card. So if you guys have any questions or you need anything, please go ahead and click on that link below. Contact me, ask me anything you would like. I hope to see you guys back again soon. This is Mel from Cars Stock Concoctions. Talk to you guys later. Bye.